Little Al, man, it's great to see you. I wore my boots just so I could be a little taller. You know, when you get a little older, you get shorter. So I made Jordan more my boots, and also you fill out just a little bit more. I'm not as healthy as I look, but I do look a little healthy. Anyway, it's certainly great to be here with you and spend some time uh, working with everybody, some of the people I know and some that I don't know, to be here for patent wages. That's what this is all about, and we've got some great music. And if you all would, would you please let our streaming audience and YouTube audience know that we're all here. Give them a big yell so they can hear And at the bottom of the screen, at the, the folks that are watching this on YouTube or streaming, there is a little link down there. And if you'd like to donate to Patton, all you have to do is click on that link. And I know it's, it's down there. We can't see it, of course, but they can. So we appreciate them joining us from all over the world, actually. And I know they'll probably give us some numbers here in just a little bit. Plus, I got some really cool stuff to give away, besides the two Martin guitars that we got to give away, the banjo and so many other things, don't forget to get your Pickin' for Patent 21 t-shirt. But I've got some really cool stuff to give away, and I know everybody likes history. And I've had the pleasure to work with some of the guys all the way back years ago. And I've got things I can tell you that is not in the record books or in any book. And if you can get close to the question or even try to answer the question here in a little bit, after we get into the festival, you could win some really cool prizes. So, and learn a little education at the same time. So we're gonna to try to make it as fun and as eventful. And me and little Al's gonna have a great time, but thank you for letting me be such a part of this. Here at the Anderson Music Hall, I also know we got two, these two TV stations that are checking it out. So these gentlemen here, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce them on right now. And they are a part of history. Because back in 1926, a guy named Gid Tanner started a band, and I bet Gid had no idea that that band was going to be one of the longest running bands really in music history. And I think it was around 1934 that they recorded a song called Down Yonder that sold one million records. So they, you know how popular that would be in 1934. No internet, no telephone, not much TV. Well, these guys continue that 90 years with this generation of the Skillet Lickers. They are members of the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Would you please make them welcome here for Pickin' for Pattern 21, the Skillet Lickers. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, Larry. And I know Larry is one of the best looking ones out of the whole band. Somebody else in the part of the night. Hide red, hide red, I'm going through the battle. Hide red, hide red, hide red, I'm going through the battle. Hide red, I'll get out of here, Joe. There he is. Well, I'd live up on the hill, the mule won't plow, but I will if I listen to what Mama said. No, I. Glad 
to be kicking off this great event. And I appreciate you guys coming and all the folks that are going to come out here to help Patton out. And uh, what, a, what a great thing to be a part of this community where uh, when somebody needs something, everybody just jumps in and helps. And uh, from the bands and everybody that's taking part this week, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for allowing us to be a part of it. Uh, like he said, we are historic, as you can tell by some of us up here. We've been historic for a while. Not to name any names, but uh, anyway, my great-grandfather, uh, Gid, started, started this band, the Skilled Liquors, back about, they first started recording back in 1923, and it, it came on up through then. And you know, this is a hotbed for country music. This is a uh, North Georgia area. It's where country, commercial country music got its start. So we thought it'd be appropriate to do country music's first song, Fiddlin' John Carson, recorded down in Atlanta in 1923. One called Little Log Cabin in the Lane. San Antonio where my grandfather drove out there at 16 years old and sat down and recorded the little tune he was talking about down yonder sold a million copies in the middle of the depression which ain't bad and made us all rich and faint well well it, all the rich and famous has done more off by now folks but anyway if you ever done any square dancing at all you probably did it at this tune one called down yonder
thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, wanna, wanna do one here for you that everybody's gonna recognize, but uh, it's kind of, kind of got a little neat story of it. The Rice Brothers, uh, not Tony and them, but before then, uh, Paul and Hope Rice out of out of um, Mount Chestnut or Chestnut Mountain in Georgia. They started recording in Atlanta and got pretty popular. Moved off to Louisiana. Well, Paul's brother, I mean Paul's wife, excuse me, Paul's wife had gotten sick and had to sp spend a little time in the hospital and uh, he owed a few hospital bills that he had to pay and when she got out of the hospital and everything was all right well uh, he took this song and uh, sold it to uh, a guy down there by the name of jimmy davis for about 19 or 25 dollars and it became a Louis louisiana state song and you guys are going to recognize it and this will be a good one for y'all to sing along with us if you want to one called you are my sunshine Oh, 
didn't introduce everybody so you get an idea who we're talking about when I call their names every now and then. That was Mr. Brian Stevens uh, doing that, playing Manly with us. You'll see him up here a few times today probably. And uh, his, yeah, his father, he was from around this area. His folks uh, are from around this area, so some of y'all might be kin to him. Uh, on the far right over here is his father-in-law, Mr. Joel Adderhole. And then on the back, the ugly one back here, Mr. Larry Nash. Y'all make him feel welcome. He don't get out of the house a whole lot. And he scares us when he does. And to my right is my dad here, Mr. Phil Tanner, the third generation skillet liquor. And I'm Russ Tanner, and we appreciate y'all. And uh, since we're a historic group and doing historic things, why don't we do a historic song that was country music's first million seller? One call wreck of the old 97. somebody to dance with. I think this is being recorded and uh, if and live streamed and all that so if you dance you might want to make sure that you're dancing with the right one. Uh, anyone this little team is called Georgiana Moon.
being up here in Hiawassee, it'd be a sin to be up here and not play Blue Ridge Mountain Blues, wouldn't it? I guess it is. Well, let's do it. <laughs> same thing the skill lickers were doing down here up in the Carolinas and uh, we want to do one of his big hits right here one called uh, don't let your deal go down Don't let your deal go down. 
Thank you so much for your support for Patton. If you're interested in any of the Skillet Liquor stuff, you can find us at skilletliquors.org or skilletliquors.com or Facebook slash Skillet Liquors, all that stuff. And uh, find out a little bit more about our history and where we came from and uh, maybe where we're going. We don't know. But uh, anyway, we're going to leave you with one more right here. We're going to leave you with a great big woman and a little bitty bottle of wine.